In a surprising and strategic move, the United States Air Force USAF, deployed its formidable B-52H Strato Fortress, affectionately known as the Buff, Big Ugly Fat Fellow, into the Red Sea at full power. Renowned as the most combat-capable bomber in the U.S. inventory, the B-52H Strato Fortress holds a legacy as a long-range heavy bomber. What does this move mean for Iran? Before we get into it, do consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot. On October 19, 2023, when the Iran-backed Houthi movement in Yemen initiated a military standoff by launching a barrage of missiles and armed drones at Israel, it marked the beginning of the ongoing Red Sea Crisis, also known as the United States-Iran Proxy War. Since 2014, the Houthi militants have controlled significant coastal territory along the Red Sea within Yemen, using it as a base for hostile actions against civilian-operated cargo ships sailing near the Yemeni coast. Despite claiming Israel-linked vessels as targets, numerous ships with no apparent ties to Israel have also been attacked in these incidents, escalating tensions in the region. The Houthi militant activities in the Red Sea have prompted a military response from various countries. The United States, in particular, established Operation Prosperity Guardian to safeguard the Red Sea shipping route. As part of this operation, the U.S. has conducted airstrikes on Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen and targeted Houthi vessels in the Red Sea. Since January 12th, the United States and the United Kingdom have spearheaded a coalition effort to launch missile strikes against the Houthis. Additionally, several other nations have initiated independent patrols in the waters near Yemen in response to the escalating tensions in the region. Amid escalating tensions with Iran, the U.S. military conducted a show of force by flying a B-52 bomber over the Persian Gulf. The U.S. launched several airstrikes on Iran and Syria on 2 and 3 February against Houthi rebels after a drone strike killed three American service members in Jordan. The escalation of tensions was evident when a small outpost in northeastern Jordan known as Tower 22 was attacked, resulting in injuries to several U.S. personnel. President Joe Biden responded by authorizing counterstrikes which commenced shortly after he attended a ceremony honoring the fallen soldiers at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Defense Secretary Lloyd J. Austin III confirmed that the initial round of strikes targeted 85 locations across seven facilities, with a focus on disrupting the activities of militia groups and their sponsors who posed a threat to U.S. and coalition forces. The strikes carried out by fighter aircraft from U.S. Central Command and B-1 bombers utilized over 125 precision-guided munitions. Despite the intensity of the operation, all U.S. aircraft, including the B-52 bomber, returned safely, and the strikes were deemed successful. What is so special about the B-52 bomber? The Boeing B-52 serves as the linchpin of the United States' nuclear and conventional global strike capability, earning its status as the most formidable bomber in the U.S. arsenal. Renowned for its exceptional mission-capable rate, expansive payload capacity, extensive range, enduring presence, and proficiency in deploying both nuclear and precision conventional standoff weapons, the B-52 remains an indispensable asset in safeguarding the U.S. national security strategy. Amid the tension of the Cold War, the development of the B-52 bomber was propelled by the urgent need to counter the formidable Soviet threat, with the specter of nuclear conflict looming, America sought a strategic bomber capable of reaching distant Soviet targets, penetrating their formidable air defenses and delivering a devastating payload. This imperative was underscored by the emergence of the military doctrine known as mutually assured destruction, which emphasized the need for a credible nuclear deterrent. Intriguingly, the early design concepts for the B-52 bore a striking resemblance to the Soviet Union's Tupolev 295 Bear, highlighting the strategic parallels between the two superpowers. Boeing, the aerospace manufacturer entrusted with developing the B-52, envisioned a bomber equipped with swept wings and powered by four robust turboprop engines. This design choice reflected prevailing perceptions regarding the fuel efficiency of turboprops compared to jet engines during the late 1940s. Despite the existence of jet engine technology for over a decade prior to Boeing's initial proposal in 1948, concerns persisted regarding their fuel consumption, particularly for long-range high-altitude missions essential for strategic bombing campaigns. 
As such, the decision to employ turboprop engines in the early iterations of the B-52 design was a pragmatic response to the prevailing technological and operational considerations of the time. Boeing's proposal for the B-52 encountered a pivotal moment when it landed in the hands of Colonel Pete Warden, a 32-year-old advocate of turbojet technology. Warden, an MIT-educated engineer and Army officer, recognized the potential of the Pratt & Whitney J-57 turbojet engine, renowned for its efficiency compared to contemporary jet engines. Armed with this insight, Warden became a proponent for embracing turbojet propulsion in the B-52's design. To bring their vision to life, six of Boeing's aeronautical designers embarked on an intensive design session in a hotel suite in Dayton, Ohio. Led by Wells, the team meticulously crafted a comprehensive 33-page proposal outlining the specifications and features of the proposed B-52 bomber. Meanwhile, Scherer delved into solo efforts, utilizing materials sourced from a local hobby store to create hand sketches and even a scale model of the envisioned aircraft. The culmination of their collaborative efforts was presented to Warden, an innovative design for an eight-engine jet bomber that retained the iconic B-52 designation. With hand-drawn sketches and a meticulously crafted balsa wood model in hand, the team successfully captured Warden's approval, propelling the B-52 project closer to production and cementing its place in aviation history. The inaugural flight of the B-52 Stratofortress took place a mere four years later on April 15, 1952, coinciding with the Soviet Union's development of its first atomic weapon. Despite this rapid progress, it would be three additional years before the nearly 160-foot-long B-52 officially entered service, marking a significant milestone in the United States' strategic bombing capabilities. Today, the B-52 stands as a testament to engineering prowess, boasting eight potent Pratt & Whitney turbofan jet engines, the most of any active service jet aircraft. This formidable configuration enables the iconic buff, big, ugly, fat fellow to traverse an astonishing 8,800 miles without the need for refueling while carrying an impressive payload of 70,000 pounds of ordnance. Beyond its nuclear role, the B-52's versatility shines through in precision bombing and close air support missions, facilitated by its extensive weapons magazine and upgraded flight systems. Recent enhancements have further bolstered the B-52's capabilities, with internal weapons bays now accommodating advanced munitions such as joint direct attack munitions and joint air-to-surface standoff missiles. Coupled with external pylons, the aircraft boasts a diverse array of armament options, Notably, these upgrades have resulted in a remarkable 66% increase in payload capacity, ensuring the B-52 remains a formidable force well into the future. Looking ahead, the Pentagon has entrusted Northrop Grumman with the development of America's next-generation long-range bomber, the B-21 Raider. Anticipated to enter service in the mid-2020s, this stealthy successor draws inspiration from the pioneering design of its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit heralding a new era in strategic aviation capabilities. As America's sole supersonic heavy payload bomber, the B-1B Lancer is poised to make way for the forthcoming B-21, while the venerable Boeing B-52 Stratofortress stands conspicuously absent from the Air Force's retirement roster. In a remarkable testament to its enduring legacy, two retired B-52s have been resurrected for service, once in 2015 and again last May. With continued upgrades, the Air Force foresees its fleet of 76 B-52Hs remaining operational until at least 2050, with select aircraft projected to soldier on into the early 2060s. To sustain its combat prowess as it approaches the century mark, the B-52 is undergoing a transformative evolution, with enhancements ranging from new cockpit displays to cutting-edge active electronically scanned array AESA, radar and secure data links. In the imminent future, the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is slated to carry some of America's most sophisticated weaponry, including the inaugural deployment of hypersonic missiles. These next-generation munitions, capable of achieving sustained speeds exceeding Mach 5, pose a formidable challenge to even the most advanced air defense systems. Of the Stratosaurus by some, the B-52 may lack the sleek stealth capabilities of its counterparts, Yet its reliability, expansive payload capacity, and operational flexibility have cemented its enduring relevance. While stealth platforms like the B-21 and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter carve a path forward, 
it is the venerable B-52 that remains poised to deliver decisive firepower once the dust settles. Do you think there is a competitor for B-52 on today's date? Let us know in the comments.